What's up everybody, Dr. Ross C. Shrinks and Sneakers.com. So before I start this video, I wanna ask you to please subscribe to the channel. It helps me to keep growing and keep making these videos for you. And with that said, I wanna cover a topic that gets asked about a lot, and that is lithium and kidney health. So I'm gonna to explain to you how to preserve a patient's kidneys when you're prescribing lithium, and what tests and other various things we should be monitoring for to make sure that kidney health is on point. So whenever you start lithium, it's essential that you look at the renal function tests. So those renal function tests will usually be a serum creatinine and, and BUN or blood urea nitrogen, as well as an estimated GFR that is calculated as a result of those other lab tests. So you wanna look at those and you wanna order those tests primarily before the person is started on lithium because you want a baseline level of kidney function and you wanna know does the person have any pre-existing kidney disease? Because it would be pretty terrible to give somebody with severe kidney disease a medication that could worsen it. Now, the important things to know about lithium is that it's fully excreted by the renal system. So it's renally excreted, it's not metabolized at all. And unfortunately, as we get older, our kidney function kind of takes a nosedive, unfortunately. So kidney function gets worse as you get older, and some people will even say up to one-third of your glomeruli are toast by the age of 60. So by the time someone's 60 years old, a third of their renal function has already just been reduced, and that's simply the result of aging and stress on the body in general. As a patient gets older, you have to be mindful that lower doses will produce the same blood levels, so older patients need less medication. This should be intuitive and obvious. And more caution is required when initiating lithium in older patients. Now, if possible, lithium should be dosed once daily, and I'll explain why once daily dosing can help you preserve people's kidneys. And this strategy is awesome. It really does help preserve kidney function, and the only reason really to divide the dose of lithium, even though you see many people giving it twice a day, the only reason to really divide it is if the person's experiencing extreme nausea from the medication. Now, once a person is stable on lithium, you should be checking a lithium level every six to 12 months. And during those six to 12 month lithium level checks, you should also be checking the creatinine and GFR as well. Now I promised you guys I would explain to you what I looked at to kind of show that once daily dosing preserves kidneys. So there's an old study all the way back from 1982 where they looked at once daily dosing of lithium versus two to three daily doses. Now the take home point from this study was that once daily dosing resulted in less sclerotic glomeruli, so less damage or scarring to the glomeruli, as well as less fibrosis and less atrophic granules. So the bottom line is less kidney damage with once daily dosing was observed in this 1982 study. Now this is also supported not only by that one study from 1982, but it's also supported by animal models, especially in rats, so specifically rats. Once daily dosing resulted in less kidney damage and it also resulted in less risk of polyuria. So we could see not only do we have some actual randomized controlled trial data, but we also have this animal model to give us some indication that doing a single daily dose is a much better idea. Now, the reason behind the reduced kidney damage is the kidneys don't, we can think about it this way. Let's think about it this way. When you're giving lithium twice daily, you're kind of providing a sustained serum level, right? And in most cases, we would actually say a sustained serum level is what you're kind of looking for, right? But in the case of lithium, not so much, right? And specifically in the case of lithium, when we're trying to preserve somebody's renal function, what you actually want is you want the peaks and you want the troughs, right? You want to have the peaks and troughs in the medication administration because it provides the kidney a break from the constant serum lithium levels. So we want to provide the kidney a break and some time to recuperate and regenerate due to the exposure to the lithium medication. So if you do single daily dosing, what you actually end up getting is these large peaks and then a low trough. So you give the once daily dosing, say all at night, 900 milligrams, you get a high, high peak, and then you get a nice low trough. And in between, the, patient, the patient's kidneys will be thanking you for it because they have time to recover from the exposure to the medication. The upshot here is that you wanna start once daily dosing early 
because kidney damage, once it occurs, is not reversible. So we don't want to damage someone's kidneys up front and then say, oh, we're going to switch to once daily dosing and, and help them. We're probably not. So when you're starting the medication, it's best to start it as a single daily dose. So a common side effect that we have to deal with in psychiatry and when we're using lithium as a treatment is something called polyuria or excessive urination. Now this occurs in up to 30.4% of patients and excessive thirst also occurs in up to 35.9%. So this is significant stuff. Now polyuria is, is, a, is actually easily treated. So one of the strategies you could use to treat polyuria is to, si is to simply reduce the dose. So maybe the dose is too high and there's an opportunity to reduce that dose and that will provide the solution. Another way to treat this is to do once daily dosing like I described above. And then obviously if lowering the dose and, da and single daily dosing doesn't work, then your third step would be a diuretic, specifically a thiazide. You just have to remember to cut that lithium dose. So you gotta cut the lithium dose by 20 to 30%. So you wanna calculate that out. So you wanna calculate a reduction of 20 to 30% in the lithium dose when you start the thiazide diuretic. You can also use potassium sparing diuretics like amylaride. All right, guys, I'm going to hold the video there for now. If you have questions or comments about the kidney effects of lithium, please drop them below. I'm happy to answer them. And please like and subscribe to the channel as it helps me to keep making these videos.